everyone, and welcome back to The Rules. As you can see, I am not in my usual environment today. That's right, I am in a hotel. As I mentioned last week, I am helping to make movie magic, so I am in a hotel. I am not in Toronto, I am just outside of Toronto. But they're keeping me in a hotel, and so this is my room. So as much as I would like to take you on set and let you see how everything is done on a movie, I'm not allowed to do that. So today we're going to be talking about rules for using a hotel room. Definitely just as exciting, I know. So let's get to it! Rule number one, it doesn't matter how old you are, you must jump on the bed. There's nothing wrong with feeling five years old again. Rule number two, make sure you sit in that weird extraneous chair in the corner that nobody ever sits in. It's probably the cleanest thing in the room. Rule number three, never ever, ever use the drawers because you will forget stuff. See? I'm staying here for like a week and a half and uh, no, nothing in the drawers. Doesn't even matter. Rule number four, just because the hotel says they have high-speed internet doesn't necessarily mean they do. You can be typing away and typing an email and then, oh, actually, you know what? All of those bars that say that the internet works, just, they're lies. This can be really annoying when you're addicted to YouTube. This can also be really annoying when your second job requires you using the internet on a daily basis. I did not pick this hotel. Rule number five, take the time to enjoy the view. That's a view. Rule number six, lock your doors. Cause you just don't want housekeeping to accidentally walk in on you doing something embarrassing, like eating an entire box of cookies alone in your underwear cause you're lonely and sad. <laughs> and finally, take all the soaps and things cause you know, they're there and you don't want somebody else using them. So take them with you. I have a closet full of mini soaps and shampoos and I like it. So that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for hanging out in my hotel room with me cause like I said, it's, it's a little bit lonely. I don't have to be on set until like five o'clock today and it's not nearly five o'clock yet, but uh, Thank you for hanging out with me and keeping me company. I appreciate it. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I will be back in Toronto next week and we will get back to our regularly scheduled shenanigans. Uh, until then, have a great week and I'll see you later. There is nothing worse than a very intense moment in a movie being ruined by the fact that all you can hear is popcorn being eaten on both sides of your face. I don't think your face, other people's faces. You know what I mean.